Well, welcome back everybody. Today we're in the shop and let's see if we can get a project done. Okay, after a little wire brushing with the die grinder, that's what it looks like. It's left a little rust on there, give it some character. I think now I will put a little varathane or polyurethane on it. Now, a clear coat would work too. I just don't happen to have any out here today. I just wanted to get this project turned out real quick, so let me go get some polyurethane will spray on that thing. Well, after the last several videos that have been pretty technical, heavy subjects, I decided to jump into something that was just kind of fun to do. 
kind of a project I had in the back of my head and I decided to go ahead and get this pounded out. It took me about an hour. How do you think it turned out? The wife's pretty happy with it and the look we were going for is a mission style hand forged kind of rough look and it's definitely rough. The wife loves it so that's really all that matters but as you can tell I still need to fix the wall where the old TP holder was was there and the other thing if you noticed, I used sheetrock screws to hold it in for the time being. I didn't have any square headed bolts, small ones that I could use to attach it to the wall to give it a more authentic feel. So when I go and take that back off and put square headed bolts back in, I'll fix the wall at the same time. Now the one thing this project kind of brought to mind for me was maybe building a forge. Uh, hadn't really thought about it a lot in the past, but I had a lot of fun messing around with this and heating stuff up with a torch and trying to do anything with it. It's just a pain. So I started looking at my scrap pile and I think I've got enough stuff to throw together a small forge. So hadn't really thought about this before, but I think that's going to be a future project that we're going to tackle. And the other thing I'm probably going to have to come up with is some kind of anvil. Um, I looked on Craigslist. I couldn't believe the prices of used anvils that what few are running around our area I was like are you kidding me are those things really that expensive you know I've seen them around at yard sales a couple times and people were asking like 60 bucks and I thought that was too much for you know an anvil that weighs like 60 70 pounds uh, are you out of your mind but after looking at the prices of them I'm like well I should have bought those so anyway that's going to be maybe some upcoming episodes I'm not real familiar with uh, the whole blacksmithing thing and all that. Uh, used to weld quite a bit. I just do it on occasion now, but I'm thinking this might be kind of a fun project to take on down the road. Anyway, wanted a light subject video today and get that turned out. I'm going to post another video today on an update about the thumb. You saw I had it wrapped up in, on the video, and I'll give everybody a quick update on the thumb. So, thanks for watching subscribing, thumbs up once in a while, and we'll see you guys on the next video.